Muhammad Umar Farooq Biological Video Please make sure to subscribe, like and share, ask the question for answer and comment about the artwork. You can also answer questions to each other for solving the problem in the comment below. So today we will discuss about the plant pathogen interaction uh, as an immune system. So the previous video we had discussed about the, uh, uh, about the overview of the immune system of the plant. But now here we will discuss about the plant pathogen interaction which that is the cellular immunity are present in the plant cell so here is the plant which that is immune system which that is prevent the infection of the bacteria pathogen fungi and virus and other uh, chemicals so let's begin to understand here is the plant tissue this plant tissue contain a nucleus so basically nucleus contain a gene which that is our gene, our resistant gene produce resistant protein, which that is inhibit the infection of the plant cell. So here is the PRR. So PRR, the pattern recognition receptor are present in the plant cell, which that recognize the PAMP pathogen containing PAMP pathogen basically pathogen associated molecular pattern or microbe associated molecular pattern which that recognize the pathogen and uh, with the response of this recognition to produce a antimicrobial protein for prevention of the infection to another cells and uh, we will discuss also so here is the PAMP uh, pathogen associated molecular pattern or MAMP uh, mi microbe associated molecular pattern are present in the pathogen in the uh, surface of the pathogen. So here is the when recognition the pathogen effector will be produced. This pathogen effector will be uh, give the response to the R protein production from the R gene. So the plant immunity is in two types. Uh, a plant immunity made up of two types ETI effector triggered immunity and PTI pattern triggered immunity which are PAMP as triggered immunity so let's begin to understand um, the uh, uh, PTI first and last uh, next we will discuss about ETI so first is a PTI pattern the triggered immunity or M P A M P S a triggered immunity we will discuss. So here is the plasma membrane of the cell. Upper layer is the cellulose. I am not drawing here. So you should imagine that. So here is the plasma membrane which that is made up of bilayer of phospholipids. So the phosphate group are present is looking like that. So here is the PRR pattern recognition receptor are present this pattern recognition receptor recognized by the uh, PAMP are present in the pathogen which that is bind with the PRR to recognize and the PTI pattern triggered immunity will be triggered this trigger and PAMP are triggered immunity which that is give the response by the cascade of MAPK so the MAPK cascade will begin to create a transcriptional factor protein that is the second messenger. So the first messenger is a pathogen uh, and the second messenger is the MAPK. Right? So MAPK cascade which that is different mechanism we are not discussing in this video. But later on uh, next video we can understand the MAPK cascade but uh, you can watch the previous video about the general overview of the uh, immune system in the plant so let's begin to understand that is basically transcriptional factor protein is formed by this mechanism and this transcriptional factor protein will be go into the inside of the nucleus by a nu nu via, via a nuclear pore and that's bind with the DNA and DNA uh, DNA uh, helicase enzyme used to uh, DNA replicase and uh, oh, sorry DNA helicase enzyme used to DNA polymerase to produce a messenger RNA 
that is the expression of defense gene which that is transcriptional gene transcriptional rna which that produce and messenger rna will go out and produce the protein that is the resistance protein while on the other hand important thing is that here is the bacteria or pathogen which that's combating the pathogen that is another immunity is known as the eti effector triggered immunity effector triggered immunity means that uh, pathogen contain effector which that effector pathogen effector will be move inside so the pathogen effector is move inside so the sensor protein is used and sense this effector after the sensation that detected by nblrr protein nucleotide binding leucine rich per repeat rich repeat so that is bind with the dna and our gene containing dna resistance protein containing gene which that will be express so that will be express and produce the messenger rna and this messenger rna will go into the cytoplasm i am not drawing here is a nucleus part you can understand and assume that is the nucleus and messenger rna will go out and go into the cytoplasm where the ribosome bind and transfer rna will become uh, to bind and to produce r protein which that is made up of amino acid and this r protein is stimulate the ion flux protein this ion flux protein will go and bind with the cytoplasm and ion influx and efflux or outflux so that means let's begin to understand with the briefly so here is the basically stimulation so the after the stimulation after the stimulation here is the basically ion flux protein will be bind with the cytoplasm uh, uh, sorry cytoplasm is not but plasma membrane when it bind with the plasma membrane the calcium and hydrogen move inside and on the uh, on the opposition of this the hydroxyl ion and potassium will move out and it causes the uh, it causes the changes which that is the hypersensitive response which give the response which calcium and hydrogen will give the response hyper reactive sense hyper uh, hyper sensitive response which that is cause the oxidative burst by producing reactive oxygen species which that reactive oxygen species is the different mechanism which that is cause cell death and that is the eti effector triggered immunity which that gives the response and gives the cell death while on the other hand the effector triggered immunity will cell death while the pattern triggered immunity is not cell death but antimicrobial protein will be formed so remember about that so here is the eti on the other hand the reactive oxygen species will trigger the lineification and callos for other cell to prevent the infection surrounding cell so the surrounding cell will be prevent by this infection so let's begin to understand the hypersensitive response is also caused by the hormonal signaling pathway which that stimulate the hormonal signaling pathway so the two type of uh, pathogen will will trigger this hormonal signaling pathway necrotropic pathogen which that is cause the cell death and biotropic pathogen which cause the cell infection but not the death of the plant cell so here is another important is the hr is dna gene which that is produced by the transcriptional factor to phyto phytoalexin and chitinase chitinase this is the prevention of the fungi as well as insect which insect is contain a exoskeleton of made up of chitin so that means it is prevention of the infection by the insect as well as the fungi so the fungi is also contain a chitin cell wall so two type of bacteria necrotropic pathogen and biotropic pathogen so the necrotropic pathogen cause the pathway is known as the jasmonic pathway jasmonic acid pathway which that is jasmonic acid will be produced and this jasmonic acid is the hormonal signaling pathway which that give the signal to the dna of the plant 
while the biotropic path uh, pathogen biotropic pathogen cause the salicyl salicylic pathway which that means as a pathway and that's produce the salicylic acid salicylic acid to create that uh, uh, basically <laughs> pathogenesis related gene so the pathogenesis related gene will be trigger the dna and uh, to uh, to produce the uh, rna which that is known as the transcription so that pr protein will be formed this pr protein is known as the pathogenesis related gene which cause the pr protein by the translation and that protein will that protein can be cardiogenesis cellulase phytolac phytolaxins Uh, antimicrobial protein and bactericidal or pesticides or some other protein which that is inhibit the infection so that means that means it is basically necrotropic pathogen is cause the basically necrotropic pathogen which that is cause the death and biotropic path pathogen which that will be not die so the plant cell is survive but necrotropic path pathogen is basically death of the cell so important thing is that so this was the immune system of the cell of the plant which that is uh, inhibit the prevention of the disease so i hope you make sense about that bye next we will